Okay, congratulations, you've now accessed Mosquito Lake. This is the first of many maps in the game to access, so let's get into it. Okay, first of all, we're going to press F1. This is going to provide us with all the information on every button sequence in the game. Next, we're going to press Escape. That's going to give us access to our settings over here on the right hand side, where we can alter any settings we want to individualize the game for our own taste. Firstly, I recommend coming to the Audio tab where we can adjust our settings. So if you want a bit more immersion by having birds twinning in the background, adjust up your background. I personally don't really like the music, so I've got that all the way down. We can apply that. Next, we're gonna go into our video tab. These are the settings I personally like to use. I do find by putting shadows on, it will use a lot more of your GPU. So if you've got a bit of an older computer like myself, I do recommend turning shadowing off. Once you're happy with your settings, press apply, then okay. That'll bring you back to the escape menu. Here we can see a lot of information. The next one I recommend checking out is records and ratings. This is going to provide you with a bit more information on what bait to use to get those trophy fish. Again, you can narrow down the information a little bit more by clicking on your particular region. For myself, I'm in other region. If we go to absolute records, that provides us with information on every fish at every map. And the weekly tab provides us with information on every fish on every map the best of the week. And then finally across the top here, we have the ultralight records and the telestick records. Again, when changing the access across the top, you will need to reset it to weekly again to access the weekly records. Okay, from here, we can simply walk down the water's edge. You will find even holding down the shift key, it does move a bit slow. So let's press backspace on the keyboard that will place the rod into your backpack. And now you can move around a bit quicker. But before getting directly into the fishing, let's go through some of the buildings to show you the information you may require. First of all, we have the fish market building. If we press E to enter the building, this is primarily where we're gonna sell the majority of our fish. Next to the fish market, hidden up the back here, we do have the cafe. The cafe is a fantastic place to try and complete orders. For example, for five perch over 50 grams, we're going to get almost $10. If we were to sell the same fish at the fish market, we might only get about $2. The final bit of important information we require from the cafe is when does the order expire? We can get that information by hovering the mouse button over the blue icon where it displays it has 786 game hours left or 32 days. 24 game hours is equal to one real life hour. So with this information, we can see 32 days is actually 32 real life hours. We come back out of the cafe, just to the right here, we'll find the grocery store where we can access supplies. We'll require later on in the game for recipes and crafting. Attached to the same building as the grocery store, we'll find the hardware store. This is going to give us some supplies we'll also need later on in the game, but not right now. And just to the right of the hardware store, we'll find the tackle store. Do not spend any money here yet. I know it's tempting, don't spend the cent. The final little building you'll find in this little run is the hot food station. In this game, you'll find these four bar graphs down the bottom, referring to energy, hunger, health, and comfort. In the current build of the game, you do not need to worry about hunger. Even if this bar graph is right down into the red, you will not starve to death, you will not die. Save all your money for tackle, not carrots. However, if you're feeling really paranoid about being hungry, you can eat here for free once every game day. From the hot food station, we're gonna make our way across the bridge. We're going to go up the stairs and to the left into our house. We're going to press E to enter the house. Okay, so the house is just a little bit of fun in the game. From here, we can display any awards that we win in the game. We can hang some extra rods or place some reels and if we get the fish of a lifetime, we can go to the taxidermist, mount it on a board and have it on wall for everyone to see. And if we come back out of the house, we can press Y to access our storage. While storage might not be very useful for you right now, it can be later on in the game to clean up your backpack. For example, if you press on the backpack icon up the top, this will display everything in your backpack. From here, we can come down to the bottom right where the little blue icon is, press on that, now select the beer, select the house icon, which I just realized I'm blocking because I'm an idiot, 
we can press the house icon that has now moved the beer into the beer fridge right where it belongs. From the house, we can make our way straight across to the administration building. The administration building provides us with a few items. If we press E, we can access maps. Thankfully for us, Mosquito Map is already provided to us for free. We can tell we've already got it in our backpack by the green icon. You'll see another couple of options here where we can get ourselves some spare float tackle or spare spinning tackle. This is extremely handy for brand new players. If you were to break a rod or reel, you can come back to the administration building and get yourself some free gear. And you can do this every single game day or one real life hour. And the final building you can see down the back there is the taxidermist just left of the administration building. Select the appropriate size board for our fish. Select the board that we like the look of. Grab the fish out of our keep net. Mount the fish on the board and hand over our hard earned silver. And the final place to check out on Mosquito is the campsite. While the campsite isn't of great use to you when you're a brand new player, as most certainly is later on. It'll give you the ability to level up your crafting skills such as cooking by drying fish, smoking fish, or braising fish. You'll also be able to utilize the campfire for making tea and coffee. We don't need tea and coffee in the beginning of the game, but we most certainly will later on when fighting those big fish. And what would a campsite be without a tent? And just like our house, the tent is used for storage. However, the capacity is only 30. While the maps throughout the game contain campsites, I do recommend using your house only for storage. That way you don't misplace anything. And guys, that is all you need to know about this map, except where the fish are, which we'll get into in the next video, where we'll go over some fantastic information to find those fishing hotspots. Now, I got told off by the RO4 community for the last video, not telling you guys to follow, subscribe, and ding the bell. That way you'll know next time I upload a video. So until then, ciao for now.